Paul Kuznikovs runs a local recruitment agency. Paul, originally from Latvia. What, do you, what are your feelings about this result then, Paul? Good morning, Nanfrantum. Oh dear, what have we done? I think we had a plate full of issues before then, now we've got ten. So uh, you're, you're, not, you're not happy then this morning? Uh, you know, I'm positive. Uh, what struck me the most that the following day that many British people apologised to me. You know, while at the same time, while people from immigrant community were in disbelief at what has just happened. People are scared. Well, scared in what way? <clears throat> that they will lose their jobs and they will be deported. So so people you've spoken to in Northampton are telling you they're concerned they might be sent back home? Uh, well, not only in Northampton, throughout the UK. Throughout the country. I mean, we have companies, though, that rely on people from Eastern Europe, don't we? I mean, surely there's not going to be any rush to say goodbye to them. Yeah, I think what now is the time to concentrate on the future, not the past. Yeah, I think the British people have spoken out, a clear message has been sent. It's time for change. We must we must respect the will of British people. Uh, and what what sense are you getting from people elsewhere in Eastern Europe that you do business with? People uh, people outside this country right now? Uh, you know, uh, some were in disbelief, but some people congratulated me. Congratulated you? Yeah. That the UK had made the right decision? Uh, yeah, that's what some people said. Do, do, you, do you think that elsewhere in Europe, from your contacts, Paul, that other countries might follow our lead? You, you know... Uh, I'm afraid uh, about the geopolitical uh, 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 consequences a little bit. You know, uh, I think it might be the reason for the disintegration of the EU. Yeah, but um, uh, le le let's wait. Let's not rush. Let's wait until the dust settles. Let's not press the Article 50 button as yet. Let's just wait till the dust settles. That's Paul Kuznikov.